on Google Clips. We have a possibility as a country to be a first mover when it comes to introducing a digital nomad visa. Uh, but that's on actually on a global scale, so that's even better. Uh, and, and actually, a couple of weeks ago, I, I started another business. It's called CROP, so C-R-O-P. And with CROP, what we intend to do is uh, to introduce Dutch agriculture technology to Croatia. So the reason why I wanted to do that is because I believe that Croatia is heavily underinvested when it comes to uh, agriculture technology. Uh, as you might know, Borna, in, in, in the past, Croatia was able to produce enough food to feed an entire region. And today we are not producing enough food to, to feed our own population, resulting in Croatia becoming an importing country for food, a food importing country. And to me, uh, that's just utterly painful to, to, to even watch something like that. And uh, if you look at other countries like the Netherlands, where there's like 10,000 hectares of greenhouse, uh, you have countries like Italy with 30,000, more than 30,000 hectares of greenhouses. Uh, Turkey, the same thing. Spain has even more. I think Spain has like 55,000 hectares of greenhouse. In Croatia, we have approximately 50 hectares of greenhouse. So, you know, they haven't even started with, with, with this. And that's again where I wanted to be among the first ones to uh, to really... Uh, bring this Dutch technology to Croatia with the ultimate goal that first of all, in Croatia, we become less dependent on importing food, uh, perhaps also less dependent on tourism. Uh, and hopefully one day we will become again an exporting nation like it used to be in Croatia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe that's a, something that Croatia seriously needs to work on. Um, I remember driving to Slavonia and seeing just fields and fields not being used. Um, for yeah. example, here in Ireland, you can't see that basically. Um, everything seems to be used up to its, uh, well, let's say maximum. Um, I believe that um, starting... Oh, but the Netherlands too. I mean, the Netherlands, yeah. every square meter is planned and used. And then, yeah. as you said, uh, if you're driving from, from Zagreb towards Belgrade and you're driving through Slavonia, then all you see is, is basically unused land. And uh, mm -hmm. there's there's so much potential, so much to do with that land. And... Yeah, that's where we uh, that, that's where we see that that there are opportunities that mm -hmm. we want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I have a friend that um, last year when Croatia uh, passed the law of planting uh, hemp plants, uh, he decided to jump on the train and he had two fields. I think he bought one and just started um, planting those and kind of spreading the word about the culture. And um, he connected himself to local producers and they're doing their own products, selling them online and uh, businesses thriving. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.